ah, oh, it's brilliant. You know, it's not often you get a chance to work in an industry you actually love. And <laughs> you can fall out of love with it, but you know, it's about being creative. We human beings, we love to be creative. We feel alive when we're creating stuff, when we're out meeting people, well, especially us creatives, we do, you know, but it's, it's, it's just great, you know. Uh, the best thing for me working in this industry is it's not a job, it's a vacation, it's fun, it's a lifestyle. So uh, whether I'm in nine to five or I'm at an event like this or doing something in the evening, it's fun and I'm passionate about what I do and that's the best way to live your life. Um, when I left a previous role that I was looking at, I didn't want to be just a cog in the wheel, so to speak. And I think here you've got the opportunity to make a difference. Every day is different. Some are more boring than others, but you have to be reliable. You have to be there at six o'clock in the morning fil filming a sunset with a, or a star waiting for hours or whatever it is. It's about passion, commitment and, and making that difference. There's lots, I mean, there's lots of things, but I, I think the, the best thing uh, or the thing I, I like most is um, when there's a big breaking story and you can be at the at the heart of it uh, and, f and really sort of find out what's going on um, as, it, as it happens. I mean, my favourite or perhaps most recent example of that uh, was during the summer there were um, a series of riots around the country, including in Liverpool, Manchester, Birmingham. But for Liverpool, on my um, newspaper, the Liverpool Echo, um, that story broke at about half 11 at night. So there's no newspaper then till the next morning. So we, on, on the internet, because we are around the clock 24 hours, we were telling that story as it was actually happening out on the street. And we were using traditional newspaper tools like we had reporters and photographers, but we also had people who were just out there on the street using Twitter and Facebook to update what was, uh, what was happening. So um, being, at the, being at the heart of, um, of, of sort of breaking events um, and covering them, and, and then at the end of it thinking, you know, we've done a good job there, we've helped people know what's, uh, what's going on. That's the thing I... Uh, I like the most. And I would, thinking about it, one other thing I'd say, it's very early in my career, um, and it doesn't happen all the time, but occasionally you feel that sometimes you can make a, um, a difference in my little way. Uh, on my paper, first, one of my first papers was in Ellesmere Port, and there was a campaign to, or um, the council wanted to close one of the local libraries to save money, and we ran a campaign on the paper to keep it open, and it was over several weeks, and I was a, I was a cub reporter at the time, but I, I did a lot of work on that campaign and at the end when we managed to save the library from shutting down it was a real feeling of, of sort of community and uh, achievement you know and and just pleasure in, t in terms of you know helping uh, a valued resource to, to stay open um, so yeah occasionally you can make a difference as well it's just so varied and it's so interesting it's not well paid but I think the kind of the the, the flip side of that is you get a lot of um, wonderful experience um, from, you know, I had a travel column for a magazine called Around the World and 80 Clubs, which I was asked to do, and that was literally going to different places around the world to go out from North Africa to South America to Asia, the States, um, just to find out about the local music scene and write stories. You know, that's a wonderful um, benefit to have, and that sort of carries on. Just this weekend, I was in Glasgow for the film festival, um, writing a story for a magazine called Mixmag. Um, about a film that's coming out, and I, is, I spent a lot of the day with uh, Irving Welsh, the writer of Train Spotting, in a pub in Glasgow, and I could write a book about that. <laughs> so there's, there's a, a lot of wonderful kind of uh, people and experiences and stories, and um, which all went into my book. <laughs> uh, jeans, wearing jeans. Um, no, I, I think basically um, you can do anything uh, that, that you, you want to, really. Um, you have a blank canvas to play with. Um, you have, you're, you're potentially surrounded by uh, a very, very talented group of people um, who are doing immensely ta uh, impressive things. And that changes on a day-to-day -day basis. So every time you go into the office, you never really know what you're going to get. But you also, you never really um, lose touch with your roots. You always have the opportunity to go back and to get involved with events like this on a very regular basis and really stimulate the grassroots level creative industries and see what's going on from that perspective.